Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Neville, and I specialize in treating adrenal fatigue. But today, I want to talk to you a little bit about something called SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, uh, which is a relatively new diagnosis over the past few years, right, with this um, kind of certain class of bacteria that um, releases different kind of gases that uh, people can now test for and detect. And it's become kind of popularized. We also have this nice new antibiotic that happens to treat this class of bacteria. Now, many of my patients are diagnosed with um, a variety of digestive complaints, given the fact that um, people with adrenal fatigue have been uh, too stressed over time, and that ends up suppressing your digestion over time. Um, and it suppresses it at every level possible, whether it's a neurological level or stomach acid or pancreatic enzymes or peristalsis. I mean, it suppresses it globally. And when you suppress your digestion, you're going to cause some downline effects, which is why my patients are diagnosed with IBS or they get reflux or they have leaky gut or malabsorption or dysbiosis. To me, SIBO is just a dysbiosis. It's a dysbiosis, which is just an imbalance in the, back, in, in the bacterial flora. That happens in the colon. It can happen in the small intestine. It can even happen in the stomach. It happens throughout. Even candida, right, or intestinal candida, that's just a dysbiosis. So there's a couple things you want to know. We know that stress hormone directly alters your microbiome, directly. Stress hormone also damages the mucin lining, the protective lining of those mucosal membranes, making them vulnerable to leaky gut and, and growing different bacteria as well. We also know stress hormone suppresses your digestive fire, right? Your stomach acid and your enzymes in the stomach. So now you can't properly kind of liquefy and sterilize the food. Now you're dumping undigested food into uh, into the small intestine, and that's going to create an imbalance in bacterial flora as well. I have flat out ignored SIBO when patients have come into me. They say, my doctor says I have SIBO. I've got to treat that. It's the SIBO that's causing the adrenal fatigue. I actually think it's the adrenal fatigue causing the SIBO. So I have flat out ignored it. And little by little by little, it's gone away. It's gone away. If you have been diagnosed with SIBO and you have to keep treating it, whether it's the fancy antibiotics or it's herbal antibiotics, and you keep treating it again and again, and it keeps coming back, and you got to treat it again and again, there's something deeper going on. Fix the suppression of that digestive system, right? Fix the underlying chronic stress response dysfunction, that adrenal fatigue. Fix that. Release the break on your digestion, it can work on its own, and that SIBO just takes care of itself. Good luck.